Hey everybody, Chris Lilly, pitmaster and partner, Big Bob Gibson Barbecue in Decatur, Alabama. Welcome to my backyard. You know, I get to travel the world teaching and preaching barbecue, and the question I get asked the most is, tell me about this white barbecue sauce. Well, white barbecue sauce originated back in the early 20s in Decatur, Alabama, by my wife's great-grandfather, Big Bob himself. This is a sauce where every chicken that came out of his pit got dipped in this tangy, peppery, delicious sauce. It's a recipe that we use every day in our restaurant. It's a recipe I use in my backyard, and it's a recipe you can use too because we're gonna cook it together today. Let's get busy. First step is to fire up that grill. Now, I've got a lot of grills that I love on my back porch, but today we're using one called a Masterbuilt Gravity Feed Charcoal Grill. It's time to get busy, let's go. Next step, let's fill the hopper with little kings for charcoal. Get that nice and full. Then we'll slide the igniter right here. Light it. Now another little trick I use is I'll take some chunks of wood and I'll put it below here. That charcoal will burn down and hit this wood, give us a nice little extra punch of smoke for our chickens. Now we'll give it about five minutes till we're ready to set the temperature. Now the fire is lit. Let's close it up. Pull the plates. get that temperature set. Set the temperature to 300. Let's get those chickens prepped. Chicken prep is easy. Take a whole three pound chicken. You can do larger, but the cook time will increase. You wanna cut the tail off and run your knife straight down the backbone. And then that chicken will pop right open. We want to remove this keel bone or breast bone. That will allow most, more smoke and salt and flavor to get into the breast meat. That chicken's ready to go. Let's do one more to make sure you got it. One whole chicken. Cut the tail off. Knife goes straight down the backbone. Pop the keel bone or breast bone out and it's ready to go, or you can remove the entire backbone with a knife or some poultry shears. Ready to hit the grill. Our cooker's up to temperature. A little salt on the chickens. Both sides. The chickens go skin side up for about an hour before we flip them. While the chicken's cooking, let's make some white barbecue sauce. Now there are many variations of barbecue white sauce and this is one of my favorites. Let's start out with two and a half cups of mayonnaise, one and a half cups of vinegar, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and what I feel is the most important ingredient, a coarse ground black pepper. We've got about two tablespoons. Whisk that up. Oh yeah, it is coming together. Now we have a white barbecue sauce that would make Big Bob Gibson proud. You know, I wish you were right here beside me. That is the joy of cooking outdoor barbecue. You've got your friends and your family, and the smells coming out of this grill right now. I've got the chicken, chicken stripping. I can almost smell, I can almost taste that charcoal flavor. I can't wait to jump in here. But it's been about an hour. Let's open it up and check out and see how those chickens are doing. Oh wow, they're looking fantastic on here. They've got a nice golden brown color and I think they're ready to flip. Let's get with them. First, we wanna do a little basting, just a little oil. Make those chickens glisten. Ooh, 
want to flip them over. Skin side down, belly up. Another little light based with whatever kind of oil you have around your house. You can use uh, vegetable oil, uh, lard, just anything to keep those chickens from drying out. That's the goal. And then, very important step. This is some more of that fresh cracked ground black pepper. And we want to pepper the bellies. Generously. That's what makes the Big Bob Gibson barbecue chicken right there. Now that we got them flipped, we're going to shut them back up, keep them smoking for about another hour until they're ready to eat. Let's take a break. Smelling good in my backyard. Let's give these chickens a check. Oh, ho, ho, look at the color on these birds. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now, to check to see if they're done. You do that two ways. First with the internal meat thermometer. You check the joint between the thigh and the drumstick. That's the last place on the chicken that's going to get done. If it gets up to about 180 degrees, you're ready to pull it off. But the simplest way to get that done, again, the last place to get done is that joint between the thigh and the leg. If you'll just take your fingers and twist the drumstick bone. If it twists and rolls over, that chicken's ready to go. And I believe these chickens are ready for that white sauce. There we go, folks. Smoked barbecue chicken. And just like at the restaurant right here in Decatur, Alabama. Every chicken that comes off the pit gets baptized in some of that delicious barbecue white sauce and the best part is that everything from the master built gravity series grill plus smoker to the charcoal and the recipe ingredients is available at Walmart cut it all up here we cut in between the breasts cutting the legs and thighs up oh this smells so good well there you have it We've got barbecue chicken with Alabama white sauce. You know, we've got Mother's Day coming up, and there's no better way for you to show your love than to fire up that charcoal grill and cook this outdoor feast just for her. Now, I appreciate all of you hanging out with me in my backyard. I want you to try this recipe. It'll work for you the same way it works for us every day in the pit room at Big Bob Gibson Barbecue. Thanks.